8.2, apply exponent properties involving quotients. So our property says that a to the m power over a to the n power equals a to the m minus n power. So our rule is basically saying that if we have the same bases and we're dividing with exponents, with the same bases, then we subtract the exponents. So here we have 5 to the 6th power over 5 squared. The same bases, so we can subtract the exponents. So we get 5 to the 6 minus 2, which is 5 to the 4th power. And if you have your calculator, you can do that out. So here, let's just do some examples. Same bases, so we subtract the exponents, 7 to the 5 minus 3, which is 7 squared, which is just 49. In our next example, we need our invisible 1, remember, and so we have 9 to the 5 minus 1, which equals 9 to the 4th power. If you have a calculator, you can do that out. Very, very important to not forget about our invisible 1 here because 9 is the same thing as 9 to the first power. In this next one, the base is negative 3 and it's in parentheses so we must keep it in parentheses and we will do 9 minus 3 and so we get negative 3 to the sixth power. Now when you go and you put that in your calculator, you need to make sure that you have the negative 3 in parentheses because since we're doing to the 6th power and it's an even number, so we do a negative times a negative, which is a positive, times a negative, which is a negative, times a negative, which is a positive, that was 4 of them, times a negative, which is negative, that was 5 of them, the 6th one would be times another negative, which is going to be positive. So since we have negative, an even amount of times, we're going to get positive number, and you can use your calculator to do that, but make sure you put the negative in parentheses. In the next problem, we have to do two things. First, we have a multiplication problem, and when we multiply with the same bases, we add the exponents. So let's first deal with the top, leave the bottom, Okay, let's just first deal with the top. And so we have 5 to the 12th power over 5 to the 7th power. Now that we've made our problem easier, we can go ahead and same bases. So we subtract the exponents. So we have 5 to the 5th power. Now here we have the same bases, they're just x's, so we have x to the 6 minus 4, which is x squared, and that is our answer. Another one that looks very similar to what we were doing when we were multiplying is that a over b all to the m power. So when the a over b is in parentheses, then we have to raise the numerator to the power and the denominator to the power. So in this example here, I just do 3 to the 7th over 2 to the 7th. And that problem I cannot simplify anymore because I do not have the same bases. So I could just put that in my calculator or I can just leave it. Here we have top to the power, bottom to the power, x cubed over y cubed. I don't have the same basis, so I can't do anything else. That's my answer. In this problem here, we have a negative squared. A negative squared is a positive. Then we have 7 squared over x squared. 7 squared is 49. x squared is just x squared. And so that is our answer, and we leave it. In this next problem, we'll first do 4 cubed, and then we'll do x squared cubed, 
and then we do the 5 cubed, and then we do our y cubed. So 4 cubed is 64. And then x squared cubed, remember when you're doing a power to a power, it becomes more powerful, so we multiply the exponents. Then we have 5 cubed, y cubed. We don't have any of the same bases, so we just leave it. Some more. We have a squared to the fifth over b to the fifth. A power to a power becomes more powerful, so you multiply them. And that's it. Here we have a negative cubed. A negative times a negative is a positive times another negative is a negative, so it becomes negative still. Then we do 5 cubed over y cubed. And 5 cubed is just 125, and you can use your calculator. In our last example, we have a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative, which becomes positive. Then we do 2 to the 4th over x to the 4th. And so that is just 16 over x to the fourth. Done. And that's it for this lesson.